Average tariffs often run above 7%, and small imported packages, like orders from China, can face up to 60% duty plus postal fees. That's why electronics and imported cars are so expensive there. Argentina is another example. High tariffs plus chronic inflation, often double or triple digits. So tariffs don't explain everything, but they clearly matter. But who really pays a tariff? At the border, the importer pays the tariff. But once the product hits shelves, most of that cost is passed on. During the 2018-2019 U.S.-China trade war, economists found that U.S. consumers and firms bore most of the cost. Example, a $100 item with a 25% tariff often landed at 125. With a 50% tariff, closer to 150, exporters sometimes cut prices a little, and big retailers like Walmart tried to absorb part of the hit. But over time, most tariffs showed up at the cash register. That's why tariffs are often called a tax you can see when you shop. Now let's talk about the first big test, 2018 to 2019, 